Hey guys, Flipotaku. I just want to make a quick short video um, about my manga goals for 2019. So 2018, personally, was a pretty incredible year for me. Uh, my, my wife and I celebrated one year of marriage. Uh, we welcomed in our beautiful daughter, and it was a killer year for manga. Um, my collection got really fleshed out. I got almost every series that I wanted, and so going in the next year, I want to be more conservative with my spending. So, and I made a few rules for myself. So I'm going to be um, continuing series that I'm already uh, reading. So, uh, Fire Force, Twin Star Exorcist, My Hero Academia, uh, Attack on Titan, Golden Kamuy, Children of the Whales, uh, Ultraman, Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead Destruction, um, Fire Punch. All the ongoing shonen that I'm reading, like Blue Exorcist, um, Black Butler, you know, Doctor, you know, Doctor Stone and uh, Demon Slayer, all the stuff that you guys have already seen in my collection that is still ongoing, I'm gonna be collecting. Um, making a rule for myself that I'm only going to um, start five new series this year. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to stick with that. Um, as for buying stuff that I already have, Berserk, I'm definitely buying the, the deluxe hardcovers. Uh, my wife already knows about that. I've been talking about it nonstop. And um, rebuying series. So I sold off Knights of Sidonia, the single uh, books, because the vertical, they put out, like people give Dark Horse shit for the weird sizes that they put out, but... Vertical's singles of Knights of Sidonia were almost unreadable. I think uh, Tesso Nihei's art um, deserves to be in this big, bold uh, book, and their bland master editions are amazing, and Knights of Sidonia is getting that treatment. I think there's three solicited for this year. Um, with how they're collecting, I think it's two and a half volumes a book. I may be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but... I think we should have the complete series in about six volumes, which the third of the Master Editions for Nice Sidonia is solicited um, in October, so it's probably gonna be till 2020 that we get those all completed, which kinda sucks. Um, be, I'm gonna be uh, still collecting uh, JoJo's, but mostly I wanna pick up more uh, Shonen titles. I have a lot of Seinen, uh, actually almost all my collection is Seinen, um, and stuff that's announced, there's nothing that's really um, piqued my interest um, too much. If you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below. I'm trying to curate five new ongoing series that I want to pick up. Um, I did kind of cheat, and I ordered a bunch of new series before uh, January. So you guys will see that in my manga haul, like um, um, Akami Got Kill, Platinum End. Uh, Blue Exorcist, Yu Hakusho, some of those are completed. Um, but yeah, you know, like Ran in the Grey World or Ron in the Grey World, that people have been talking about that. Um, Tales of Wedding Rings, uh, I might want to get into. Just mostly, I I would like more seinen stuff. But if you guys have good shonen recommendations, like I have my eye on uh, Tagami Bachi, I have my eye on World Trigger, I have my eye on uh, Hunter Hunter. Even though I love Hunter x Hunter, the anime, I haven't read the manga. I have the first two volumes. I would like to pick that up more. So if you guys can give me, let's say, let's if you guys can leave a comment down below and give me five recommendations, Seinen and Shonen. Um, if you guys know my taste, kind of curate that, like kind of like, you know, put it in my taste. Um, but I just want to make a short video, just a quick chat with you guys. I haven't made a video in a couple of days, but uh, Monday and Tuesdays are my off days from work. Um, and Monday is my wife's birthday and Tuesday we are, our birthdays are day apart and Tuesday I am turning 27 so um, I'm gonna have a lot of free time my grandmother's having surgery on my birthday but it's nothing uh, too too bad so she'll be out of the hospital that same day but expect my first impressions of Dr. Stone expect my first impressions of opossums or eposums uh, which is, this is going to span volumes one through three, which is all that's out. And then volumes one through two, which is all that's out. And, um, so, so the way I'm going to be doing my impressions is I'm just going to kind of go off the cuff. Like I do with these videos, just kind of, um, express my feelings, uh, in a raw way. But when I, I'm going to be doing 
I'm going to be taking my reviews a little bit more seriously, and I've started uh, rereading, because, um, well, not rereading, but I've started uh, writing down um, my thoughts on certain series, and I'm going to try to, like, get a, like a, kind of like a basic script going, but my first one I'm going to be doing it on is Spirit Circle. So, definitely look out for the next couple of days, uh, those three videos. I have a bunch of stuff planned. I have a crazy manga haul plan for you guys, um, and... I have my favorite, I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm going to start a series called, uh, I don't know what the name is yet, but it's going to be, I'm going to recommend uh, non-manga comics to you guys that I think manga fans would love. And the first one is going to be Hellboy, and I, that's going to be more scripted as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I just hit 250 subs, which is um, amazing. Um, everyone is awesome, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and by the way, if I seem tired in this video, it's because it's like 5 in the morning, and uh, I worked all day. So, just this was an off-the-cuff idea, my manga goals, uh, just to continue getting the series I want, finish series, and only limit myself to starting five new ones. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much.